In this video, we'll be looking at the process of creating an entity relationship diagram or database model diagram using Visio. Now the book provides you with the instructions for Visio 2010 and earlier, so I thought I would take this opportunity to show you Visio 2013 and get you up to speed or started in creating a database model within this application. So here we are looking at the start screen within the Visio application. And from here, you can actually click on the database link under suggested searches. And that will take you to the page for the different types of database drawings you can do. You can do an IDEF1X database notation, UML, the Chen database notation, or the Crow's Foot notation, which is what we've mostly talked about in the book. So we'll go ahead and go with this option. When you choose it, you can then choose, much like in earlier versions of Visio, metric units or US units. I'll go with US and click on Create. And this is just going to start you out with a blank canvas where you can begin creating your database model. What you'll do is drag over boxes representing your entities. And you'll notice that by default, all of the entities have a primary key attribute name and then a couple of other attribute names, and that's all. So you'll drag over entities. And then at some point, you're going to want to zoom in so you can get a little closer look. And you can simply double click to name an entity. So if I want this, for example, to be my customers table, I simply type customers and I can name it. I double click on my primary key and we'll call this customer ID. And then this attribute will make it first name and we'll make this attribute last name. So you can begin creating your entity in this way. Now, some of the things that aren't immediately obvious when working here in Visio 2013 are, for example, how do I add a new attribute? Well, the key is if you keep clicking on an entity, you're going to cycle through the different things you can select. And you want to be in this situation where an individual attribute like last name here is selected. And then as soon as you get that, you can right click and you'll notice there's an option that says insert attribute after and just above that insert attribute before. We're going to insert an attribute after and you'll notice it gives us a blank attribute which we can immediately right click on and insert another attribute after that. So that's how you add the attributes and then you can go back in and simply name them according to what they should be. And keep in mind that in relation to SQL Server these attributes basically map to columns. So we can do this and then we can actually right click as well and you will see some different options here. For example, we can set it as a required attribute. And you'll notice that all that does is embolden it. That's the way it indicates to us that it's required. You can also make something a foreign key. For example, if this is going to be an orders table, and here we're going to have the order ID, well, we may have the customer ID here. And what we can do is indicate that we want that to be a foreign key. So this is the foreign key that links, of course, to the primary key of customer ID in the customer's table. And then we can create our relationships by dragging over a relationship operator. And then we can simply choose that we have a customer who may have many orders. So just like that, we can build a one-to-many type of relationship. Now, another way you can add attributes is just drag the attribute over and position it where you want it to be in your entity. So there are several ways that you can accomplish many of the different tasks that you'll perform now in Visio 2013. But this gives you a basic overview of how you get started creating this database diagram within Visio 2013. Now there are some issues with connectivity to data sources that have yet to be resolved. Microsoft is expecting third parties to take care of that in Visio 2013. So you might want to read online about the limitations of Visio 2013 in relation to database diagramming before you choose to make a move from Visio 2010.